In this lesson, we'll learn how to write and transform text in Notion using the block handle, and then apply that knowledge to create a simple, personal task list. If you've played around in Notion at all, you've encountered the idea of blocks and pages, whether you realized it or not. You've consumed content on a page if you saw something that looked like this. In this video, we'll create a page and analyze a few text-based Notion pages to get a better understanding of document creation in Notion. The three basic ideas we'll talk about in this lesson are creating a private page, adding text, and changing block types and styling. So to get started, let's create a page. We'll get into the sidebar in greater detail later on, but we can start here in our private section. Pages in here aren't shared with other members in your workspace, so it's a good place to learn on your own. To create a page, simply click on the plus sign next to the word private. This is your canvas for everything you'll accomplish in Notion, and I'm excited for the two of you to get more acquainted. To add text in Notion, you can start typing or paste text in. See how when you start typing, the features fade away? That's so you can focus on getting your thoughts on the page. I'm going to paste in some text from a fictitious user research session that we can transform using Notion's block menu. With just a few button clicks, we'll transform this text into this formatted page. The first thing I want to do here is create sections using headings. Under the hood, every piece of text in Notion is a block that can be formatted in a bunch of different ways. The key to changing a block's type lives in the six dot menu to the left of the text. Here we'll select turn into, and this gives us a list of options, including headings. I'll just click here and my first heading is transformed. We can also format through Markdown using the pound sign and using the keyboard shortcut slash turn with the name of our block. In this case, heading one. You may have also noticed a couple of options for displaying the content itself. I could use to-do lists, bullet points, numbers, toggles, or any of the many options available to me here. I can highlight multiple rows of text and turn them into a call out, bullet points, or to-do lists in the case of my action items. Another fun thing we can do with the block handle is move blocks around. Say one action item was more important than another, I could just drag it up in this list and drop it here. Similarly, if I wanted columns like there were in our example, I could drag this block to the right of another. That light blue line shows where the block is headed, and when I release my mouse, it will drop right in that spot. Now that we know all about the block handle and text editing in Notion, we're ready to review and build out a practical, lightweight to-do template. To start, you can use the plus sign to add a page into the private section of your workspace. Again, no worries if the sidebar as a whole is a little confusing right now, we'll get there soon. That should pull up a blank page that looks like this, and we can start adding content. Our end product is going to look something like this. Here, we'll want to add three columns with level two headings, to do, doing, and done. To create those, I'll just type out the text and then use the block handle to turn them into headings. There's other ways to do this too, of course, markdown or the slash turn command, depending on your preference. Under each section, we can go ahead and add our to-do list items. I'll add research personas, pick up dry cleaning, and request PTO for family vacation into my to-do list. Then I can simply drag blocks into the doing column while they're in progress and satisfactorily check them off and move them to the done column when complete. The only other thing we're missing from the template here is some color, which you guessed it, I can add with the block handle. I'll highlight these in red, yellow, and green, create some columns, and there we have it. Go ahead and add a new page on your own before moving on. Add some text and change the colors. 